How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you how to get started over on Kick in terms of signing up on the site and the basic navigation. If you're wanting to learn how to customize your profile or set up alerts or start your stream for the very first time on Kick, that is not going to be in this video, but it is going to be in the playlist. So be sure to go ahead and take a look at that playlist to see any of the videos that you might be looking for. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to kick.com. Link's going to be in the video description below for you. And we're going to go over here to sign up. So here you're going to be able to give it your email, birth date, username, password, and everything like that. You can also use your Gmail or your iCloud. Now the Nerd Sanctum is the channel that I use. It is my gaming channel. It is also what the gaming channel is over here on YouTube as well. So I also use it on Twitch and I use it on Kick. So once you have that all done, you might get an email that might want to have verification done just to make sure that, you know, that is done first. And once you have that done, then you can go ahead and log in. Okay. So now that you're logged in to kick, go over here to the top right hand side and you're going to see channel creator dashboard subscriptions settings and log out. So for channel, this is going to be very similar to your Twitch channel. You'll have the stream up here. You'll have a little bit of information about you here. You'll have the background, you'll have your icon, a little bit more information here. You got your socials, and then you'll be able to fill in your panels under the about tab. Videos will show any type of past broadcasts for any clips. And then for your chat is very similar as if you were actually streaming and stuff like that. Now for the creator dashboard, also very similar to the creator dashboard on Twitch, where you'll be able to have your activity feed on the left, chat over here on the left, your stream will be in the center. You'll have your information, your metrics up on top, like your viewers, followers, time of the stream, like how long the stream's been going on for and stuff like that. You'll have mod actions. I don't have any mod actions here, but if they are active at this time, then they would display here. But I don't think they are active. If anyone does know if they are, please let me know in the comments. And then for your quick actions, I don't see any way of adding any more. So I think it's just these two that they give you. And then you'll have your slow mode, which you can have a message interval in seconds. And you can toggle this on and off. Same thing with your follower only chat. This is going to be in minutes and you can toggle this on and off as well. Over on the left, you'll have your achievements. So this will be your path to affiliate. And I don't know if they have anything else after affiliate, but this at least gives you something to kind of work towards if you are wanting to try to get that subscription button over here on kick. For the community tab, you have your moderators, badges, which I don't have any at the moment, and then emotes. I believe you can get up to 50 emotes and I just added some random ones that I had from previous years of streaming and stuff like that. So I forgot to just throw a few of them in there, but all you gotta do is hit the plus icon here and then it's gonna ask you for a name for it. And then that's it. In the settings, you'll have your profiles. So this is where you'll be able to have your avatar be edited. You'll be able to fill this information, which will be down here, but it will populate up here. Just kind of give you like a little like preview of it. Then you have your banner, which is going to give you the dimensions. So 1280 by 700, you have your offline banner and then username, bio, social links, easy. Stream key, not going to show that, but the stream key essentially is what you're going to need for when you are going over to like OBS or Streamlabs desktop or XSplit or whatever it is that you use that requires that stream key. Now, if you are going to use something like Restream where you're going to stream to multiple places, then that one is going to give you something completely different that you don't have to worry about the stream key here on Kick. For security, security, this will allow you to change your password. It also lets you enable two-factor authentication, which I do recommend you guys adding. And then notifications, if you want to have them on, you can have it where it will email you the notification or it will have an on-screen pop-up notification. And that's pretty much it for the creator dashboard. Now, if you go back over here to the right again, you'll have your subscriptions. So you'll be able to see who you're subscribed to, what the payment history is, as well as your payment method. And then settings will bump us right back into the creator dashboard again, right where we just were. So there's two ways of getting to that. And then log out is log out. Now, one thing I do want to also show you is going to be on your channel and that is going to be the chat. So 
The chat's going to have some options here for you. For identity, this is going to be a preview of showing you, so you'll be able to change the color of your identity if you would like to. I keep mine on orange. It's not a bad color, but this lets you change your identity there. And then you can show the leaderboards for your subs, and you can also show timestamps. You can mute users, you can ban users, you can also pop out the chat. And then you have these little guys. These little guys. So they're just kind of like built in emotes. You also will have a bunch of other emotes as well that you can use or emojis. And then the ones that I have, my badges. And then these are the ones from Kick. And then you have all these global ones that you can use. Now you also have these little slash commands. So I wanted to clear the chat. Clear. Boom. Gone. Nothing nothing to see. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much it when it comes to the creator dashboard, kind of seeing your channel a little bit. But over on the left hand side, if we go back to the main menu here, you'll be able to see all the people that you're following, and then it's gonna give you some recommendations. You'll have the home page here. The carousel which you can kind of cycle through you'll have your top live categories you can also hit view all you can show more if you want and then it's going to give you the top live groups and then a bunch of different recommendations depending on like the categories and stuff like that now if you go over to browse You'll have the categories like we're used to seeing. You'll have live channels if you want to go that route. And then we also have clips. So you can just kind of like cycle through all the different clips. Now, I don't know if this is a live or not, but being able to sort it a certain way, like it feels like it's supposed to be live, but it doesn't seem to be. But they would probably have it very similar to Twitch where you can search for people who are low to high or high to low or recommended for you now if you wanted to follow a certain category you can click on it and go to follow and then if you go to your following tab you'll be able to see all the categories that you are following and if you want to unfollow one just hit the unfollow and then go back into following and you'll be able to see it there and then you see all your live over here now, if you go over to following, you're going to see these three dots here on top of each other. This is where you're going to find the community guidelines, the different policies, terms of service, etc. So definitely go ahead and read through all these. It's not a lot to read, but it's good to understand the platform. That way you don't break any of the policies or any of the guidelines. And then if you also scroll down, you'll be able to see those are going to be at the very footer of the site as well. And then you'll have different types of resources on who you can reach out to and socials and everything. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video. It's very easy to sign up. Navigation is smooth, very easy to find things. And hopefully as the site does grow, we get more stuff added into it and it really becomes its own. But if you guys found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video as well. And don't forget to take a look at the playlist for more videos about kick. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.